then I did the Welsh Standard Distance Triathlon Championships at Tata Steelman. It's an event I've done two times before uh, over the last two years and I've won it twice before as well. So this was a great way to kick off my season and I was really looking forward to the race. The day started at 5am ready for an 8am start. I had my normal race day breakfast of two gluten-free bagels and we packed our kit and got away to the lake. After parking at the lake, I headed down to Transition where I registered and wrecked my bike and also had a little interview with S4C, which is a Welsh TV channel and you can find the footage after the race. I think it's on in early July. And make sure you turn on the subtitles though if you're not fluent in Welsh. I'd allowed myself plenty of time before the race to get set up in transition and chat with a few friends. There's quite a lot of local athletes racing the event and also have a quick dip in the lake before the race was about to start. I wanted to check out the course, um, especially the lake entry as last year I'd fallen on a slippery part of the slope going into the race. So this year I wanted to check out my uh, starting position and make sure I wasn't going to go flat on my back just like last year. I'm not normally the best at starting off quite fast in a race. I like to find my rhythm and yeah, ease into it. But I know this isn't the best for triathlons, especially short ones, uh, when I want to catch up with the men and, and sit on their feet. So I started off pretty quick and yeah, thankfully got on the feet of the fastest men as we went around the first turn boy. There was just about four of us in the group together um, and it was all going pretty well. That was until the third turn boy, so the final turn boy, and the two leading men whose feet I were on, they both went straight on instead of, instead of turning left back towards the shore. So for a short while I was leading the race until they kind of came around and uh, yeah, joined and I came out the water second behind Liam Lloyd and just in front of Ollie Simon and Morgan Davis. Transition one went pretty smoothly, although I could definitely use some more practice jumping on my bike, especially with my new shoes. The elastic band situation wasn't ideal there, so yeah, I could definitely do with some more practice doing that. The bike course was a uh, four loops on the course on flat and fast roads. Uh, the dual carriageway roads, uh, which are open to traffic, so yeah, it's quite cautious, especially at the third and fourth lap of traffic and other athletes on the course. Um, but yeah, just got my head down into time trial position and tried not to worry too much about the watts, just go on feel. And yeah, I was getting a few um, splits from Will to let me know where I was. And I, as I was entering T2, I think I had about eight and a half minute lead. So I knew I had some time to play with on the run. So starting the run, I started out fairly conservatively. I had some power numbers um, to aim for on the run based on my stride power meter that I use. And I was towards the lower end of those, whereas I was hoping to be more towards the upper end. Um, but the second lap, I managed to build it a little bit more and hold on to the power um, and finish stronger than I started the, the run. Although I was hoping to be able to reflect my training a little bit more in this race. Overall, I'm really happy to have started my season with a win and to maintain my Welsh title for the third year in the row at the Tata Steelman. I was about three minutes faster this year compared to last year and I know it's quite difficult to compare um, times because conditions were different. This year we had uh, no wind on the bike course whereas last year there was a uh, quite a strong headwind so this year was much more consistent power whereas last year was a really fast section followed by a, a slower section and obviously the swim course we don't know how it was marked this year compared to last year and the run yeah fairly similar but but no wind this year so yeah great to be faster on swim bike and run although I won't read into that too much. From here it's three weeks time until the Challenge Wales which is my next race and I'm motivated and looking forward to getting some work done and seeing what I can do at my first 70.3. Thanks for following along this far if you've made it this far. Hi mum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it was really great to race at the weekend and see so many local faces and have so many people cheer for me and shout my name and meet new people and see old friends um, yeah it's, it's great to support local events and I thoroughly enjoyed racing at the weekend especially when the weather was as good as it was if you've enjoyed this video why don't you check out some of our other videos that we've created over the last few months and stay tuned over the next couple of weeks and months to see more about our triathlon racing season